Hello again and it's been warm but humid around Melbourne today from a low of 19. The city reached 29.1 this afternoon. It hasn't moved much since then. Right now it's sitting on 26.9. It was a little warmer further north. Epping made it to 31. Yarra Glen 30. Geelong and Fernie Creek were both a bit cooler with 25. It was hottest through the state's northwest today. Mildura and Swan Hill both reached 33 degrees. Horsham 32 and Bendigo 31. It was a different story through the south though. Wilson's Prom only made it to 19, Mellicuta and Aries Inlet 20. Isolated showers persisted through the state's east for much of the day. Since 9am, Mellicuta has collected 37 millimetres and storms sparking up around Mansfield this afternoon delivered 38 millimetres in just half an hour. Those storms could become quite intense, so the Bureau has issued a severe weather warning for these areas here in Orange. Heavy falls have the potential to lead to flash flooding. Further up north, southeast Queensland has experienced another day of torrential rain. After recording its wettest day since 1974, Brisbane received another 80 millimetres today and Mount Glorious, just outside of Brisbane, has collected 244. Heavy rain will persist through those parts tomorrow, while showers through the north the New South Wales coast will also become torrential. Isolated falls will continue to be directed across Victoria through the south during the morning before extending statewide in the afternoon with thunderstorms possible late in the day. It'll be mild overnight with minimums generally in the mid to high teens. Mildura will dip to just 20 degrees before a top of 31. Shepparton and Swan Hill are also heading for 31. Much cooler through the south, 22 at Aries Inlet, 25 at Sale and Orbos. And it'll be another humid day with the state under a warm easterly airflow. Those warmer winds will keep daytime temperatures a little higher through the north and west. Yarra Glen, Ringwood, Pakenham and Frankston are all heading for 29 degrees, 28 degrees at Epping and Moorabbin, 26 or 27 elsewhere. There's a slight chance of a shower from the afternoon, but it will be very light, under a millimetre, and a possible thunderstorm as well, most likely through outer northern suburbs. From a low of 17 degrees, the city is heading for 27, and while there'll be plenty of cloud about, the UV index will be very high. Then the last day of summer is looking warm but wet, a top of 26 degrees with up to 4 millimetres and a possible storm. Those conditions will carry on into autumn, 26 again on Tuesday and up to 15 millimetres. A little warmer on Wednesday, 28. Still humid but showers should start to ease. 28 and partly cloudy on Thursday and then it's back into the 30s. 31 and partly cloudy on both Friday and Saturday. Tomorrow won't be quite as warm as that after an overnight low of 17 the city is heading for 27 under partly cloudy skies and gentle to moderate south easterlies and we are looking at a tropical end to summer, Alicia. Yeah, we certainly are. All right, Maddie, thank you for that. And that is Nine News this Saturday. Deb Knight is up next for you with The Current Affair. I hope you have a great evening. We leave you with the devastating images of Ukraine under attack. For now, good night.